Thank you for coming. Spelling trouble in the clouds and making trouble in the clouds. This isn't something your heart needs to know. A world of trouble coming down its snow. You feel senseless and you should. You feel pointless for you have. Where did your hate of this life go? Recited half of your head's tone. It was, oh, not my aim to be a slave. What God wants, she does. Touches of blood and murders of fools. What God wants, she does.
Can you say that you are a happy person? No. I mean, I wish that I was. I mean, the happy people that I know, uh, I'm very envious of. It's something that I have a very difficult and complex relationship with. Um, and it is something that, unfortunately, I feel a very limited amount of. Uh, no, I mean, I wish that I felt more. It's not that I think it's a bad idea. I, unfortunately, the way that my mind is wired is to generally be pretty negative. Uh, and some of that has to do with the external factors of what life is, and some of it has to do with just the chemical makeup of my mind. Uh, I may not be the best person to give a definitive uh, answer as to, to what happiness is. <laughs> It'd be like asking me what, a, what what's it like to be a cow. I mean, I could only sort of guess. <laughs> Oh
my eyes, I see death. It's rad. I love abortion. You're too good for this life. I love my eyes, I see death. I love abortion. I love abortion. I love abortion. Paul, you have lived to be as if a dream. Let all you have lived to be as if a dream. Let all you have lived to be as if a dream. Let all you have lived to be as if a dream. Most chemical reactions are uh, sort of define our experiences as, as people. That, I mean, that doesn't mean that they're just because, I mean, love might just be a chemical reaction. It doesn't mean that it's not a fantastic chemical reaction. Well, I mean, I think the physiology of it might just be a chemical reaction, but the sociology of it is the vast meaning of, you know, what it could be for an individual. Um, and just, just because it is a physiological reaction doesn't mean that the emotional or sociological factors behind it are not important. There's different interpretations to what happiness is. I feel like there is a difference between happiness and satisfaction. Like, you could be satisfied with your life, but that feeling the chemicals of happiness that drives you, whether that's, ser you know, adrenaline or serotonin. Or, and that you don't really have a lot of control over. But you can strive to be satisfied with your situation um, and be okay with what you're given and be fortunate and humble about it. And I think that's more important than feeling the chemicals itself of happiness. That question apparently is really bothering me. <laughs> uh, I know it's like asking if you're like obliged to have a stomach ache or something. I mean, it's it's sort of I mean you don't it's sort of out of your hands whether or not you're. I mean, to a degree, I suppose you have some control over whether or not you're happy. But uh, I mean, if it's a chemical reaction, it's not really up to you.
to be so tight Too long to be this wrong Don't say no Oh, 
man man
Shake it up. When I can't control myself, you swear to get up. Consciousness demolished. Like if you're a, like a serial killer, that makes you really happy to kill babies or something. Well, it is like that. <laughs> I think maybe you should forego happiness if it requires you to murder babies. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I, I, uh, I don't think that pursuing your own happiness de-obliges you from behaving in a humane way. I don't think that happiness. Uh, 
I don't think the pursuit of happiness is more significant than the pursuit of civility or the pursuit of kindness or consideration. Uh, there's a very, someone who was for a long time a close friend of mine that I'm having a really difficult time being a friend with because he's become a husband and a father, but he doesn't like being a husband and a father, so he just does whatever he wants and doesn't take care of his family at all because it makes him happy to do his other stuff. Uh, so no, I mean, there are, responsibility is more important or to them to happiness. But then again, as I don't believe in absolutes, who the fuck cares what I say? <laughs> For instance, if I'm, I could feel happy even when I'm exercising, um, I feel happier. I could feel my body feeling the, the energy that it needs to feel happy. Um, long term is a negotiation. It's a constant negotiation, very micro negotiation with your daily life in order to feel satisfied and happy with what you have. Oh, no!
Do I think that humans as a singular biological species have a generalized conception of happiness? No, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm quite sure that it, I mean, it, it, it must have massive differences culturally and then individually also. I mean, with, within a culture, there's going to be a hundred million definitions of it. Uh, and then, you know, there's tens of thousands of different cultures on Earth. So, no, I mean, no, I'd, are you asking me if there's like an absolute idea of happiness? Yeah, no, I'm sure there's not. So I mean, I don't really think there's an absolute idea of anything. <laughs> <laughs> and if I'm going to stick to my idea that there's really no absolutes, then there's no reason that th something could be absolutely happy or absolutely uh, grief-stricken. Um, one of the few positive things about human beings is that they're really uh, totally amorphous and complicated. Um, it's Usually humans are a pain in the ass, but it's, you know, it makes them actually interesting that their internal experiences are almost impossible to define, uh, you know, such as happiness and grief. Um, I mean, if somebody, this is a very stupid example, but, you know, let's say your grandma's been sick for 30 years and in a tremendous amount of pain, you're sad that she's dead, but you're also happy that she's free of the pain that she's been in. So, I mean, both things can happen at the same time.